Welcome to Sethcraft. I have the Thunder Laser Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser. This machine is quite large and does not fit through a standard doorway. My doors are 36 inches and this is 44 inches including the handle and so there's no way it's going to slide through that single door. So today I'm going to be taking the base off of this machine so that I can turn it up and slide it out of my door. I have to go through two different doorways to get to my laser room. Whenever this machine is removed from the base, including the stop button and the lighting up here, it's about 29 to 30 inches and that will fit through my single doorway. So let's go ahead and get to work taking the things out of this machine and getting the base removed so that I can slide this through the doorway. If I measure from the bottom of the laser itself above the base up here, we actually have about 30 and a half inches. So that will fit through my 36 inch door. There's a little bit of weight that I can remove before flipping this up. So let's go ahead and pull the door open. The keys are over here in this corner. I'm going to cut those out of here. Okay, and that's gonna allow me to open up a few doors and drawers. I also am going to be taking out the honeycomb and the slats that are under here. I'll need these keys to open up some of the doors around the machine in order to remove the screws that are holding the base to the top of the laser here. Now let's go ahead and remove the honeycomb and also the slats that are in here and that will help to reduce the weight load a little bit. There are a few zip ties that I'm going to pop loose. I'll have to find that in just a moment. I should be able to reach in here and pull up the honeycomb cutting base. I can also remove all of these metal slats and that will reduce the weight of the machine. And also whenever I turn this on the side, these won't be falling out. Now I'm going to remove these two doors on the front, this top one right here and this bottom one that has the Thunder logo on it. So the top one is going to have to have an Allen wrench and that's going to loosen up the screw on both sides here. So I'm just going to loosen and remove this screw over here and loosen and remove this one over here. Then using my set of keys, I'm going to unlock this door. it will fall forward and I can then remove it. That right there weighs about 15 pounds or more, so it's gonna add a lot of improvement to moving this machine. The next door down does not have the screws to remove. You just unlock both sides and that will allow this to fall forward. And there is one spring-loaded clamp over here that needs to be pulled out. Everything is off of the front and out from the inside that I'm going to remove. Now it's time to close the lid and I want to make sure this stays down nice and secure. And so I'm just using some of this blue masking tape and this is going to go down here to this lower support bar. I just want to wrap the handle a couple of times to make sure that it stays down during my move. Now turning our attention over here to the right side of the laser, I'm going to unlock this door and let it fall open. There are a total of eight different screws that have to be removed. And so let's go ahead and take a look at those. Now it might be difficult to see this, but there is one here, one back here, but there are also four different screws really close to the edge that you'll have to get to. So for reference, if I stick this into it here, you can see right there just how close that is. So all eight of those have to be removed on this side. The wrench provided doesn't get in here all that easily, but I can loosen that up very carefully. And once it's loose enough, I'm able to just do that by hand. Now moving to the left side of the laser, I'm gonna open up this door and we'll be able to access the other 
bolts that are into the base of the unit. Now it has the same eight different screws that were removed before, but it also has uh, three extras that have to be removed. And let me show you where those are. You've got uh, these right here that have to be removed. And let me see if I can show you. There you go, there's the other one real close to the side. Uh, but over here, these little tubes have to also be removed. So there's one right there, and then one here, and one right down there on the other side. And those will need to be removed uh, as well. None of this tubing has to be removed. You just have to pull those screws out just for whenever you're transporting the laser. I made a small cart using some caster wheels and those metal face plates that the laser was shipped with. And I think that's gonna be sufficient to uh, move this thing around. I mean, it should roll just fine and hold the uh, 600 pounds. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put some either towels or cardboard on top of this, especially where these screw holes are. Um, but this is going to be basically allowing the left side of the laser here to rest upon the cart. Let me show you what this looks like here. So the plan is, to go below these vents here, and uh, basically the cart will be right here and allow this to slide around. That's the plan. So that's what I got designed. My doorway is 80 inches tall, and so if I take my tape measure to the edge of the laser and then I run this out, we see that it is 74 and three quarters. However, there is the uh, lock here and also those vents down there, which puts us at close to 75 and a half. If we look at my little cart down here, we get four and a quarter. So it may be that uh, we're gonna fit through this doorway with about a half inch to spare. So uh, that's why I've got my cart wide enough in the middle that these vents will fit down into the wood. And uh, so our height here will be about 74 and a half roughly to 75. Um, so anyway, it's gonna be close, but I think we have just enough height in the door frame to get this through. The laser is now ready to tip up onto the cart and be pushed through my doorway. I've got a couple of friends coming over, so let's go ahead and you can watch the process as we move it from this room into the next two rooms and hopefully get it back on the base at that point. So, all right, let's get to work. Okay. Let me see if that, uh... You guys good for a second? Yeah. Yep. 
those caster wheels were 90 pounds a piece, 90 pound weight limit, right? So they didn't quite meet the uh, requirements of the machine. So where is this going? Yeah. So against this back window. Okay. So I really have to drop it. Yep, I think so. Yeah. Hang on, I'm slacking back here. Bolt it on. I think we'll try to do the same thing where we just lower it down. See if it'll. That's what the video is about. Lines up. Yep. So that should Great. hit there. Okay. Looking good. Yep. As long as we've come far enough away from the wall. Everybody's hands out of the way? Yep. We're good. Yeah. Ready. We're going to go from and the cushion catch. to. Yep. And catch. Watch your foot. Nobody's legs out of here? Nope, we're good. Alright. Good catch. Moving this laser actually went better than I was anticipating. The four of us were able to tilt this down, no problem. There is actually a metal bar that is underneath the laser and that catches the base. So that whenever you flip it up, the base is hanging from that metal bar. And once it's on the cart, then you can remove those, uh, that, the base with the wheels and it's um, pretty easy. Uh, same thing goes for whenever the unit is uh, going to be laid back down. You set the base on that metal bar and then hold your foot and then you kind of bring it forward and it'll catch and then you're able to bring it on all the way down. I think one thing that would make that process a little bit easier is if Thunder Laser had uh, two of those metal bar strips but one is definitely good. So I now have the Thunder Laser in the room where it's supposed to go and it is uh, time to put everything back together and get this unit assembled for uh, production. So I also wanted to mention real quick, the cart that I made, I put a blanket on top, just taped that down so that it doesn't scratch the paint and it worked flawlessly. I had about one inch of clearance on my 80 inch uh, opening here. So keep that in mind. You can get some caster wheels and some two by fours and it is sufficient to move this laser around. All right, before I end this video, let's go ahead and put everything back together. And uh, in the next video, I will be setting up the chiller and the fume extraction and all of that good stuff. Now that I have the laser here in my laser room, I'm gonna put it back together, which is essentially just reversing everything that was done to get it in here. So I'm gonna take the 16 small screws and put it back into the base. I'm gonna take the tape off the door and then put those uh, little doors back on the front. So let's get back to work and then we will wrap up this video. Looks like the base isn't quite lined up. It's off by less than an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to see if I can scoot this whole thing over. See how I'm going to do that. Just pick up and slide hopefully. Too much. All right, I now have the Thunder Laser Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser in my laser room. So I did have to go through two different doorways in order to get it here. And so the things I learned 
were that um, you have to be careful with the 100 watt version because of the extra piece over here on the side. Uh, just keep in mind that it sticks up pretty high. Um, so with my cart and the laser, it was 79 and a half inches. And so I did not have much clearance at all to work with above the laser for my door. Um, but with four people, I was able to lift this up and get it on the cart with ease. There is a metal bar that goes between um, one side to the other. And that's what really holds that base on whenever you pick it up. It's also what helps to keep the base on when you lower it back down. So very good. Uh, yeah, uh, so basically make sure you have at least three people, four preferably, whenever you move this and uh, make sure your clearance is good enough there um, for this laser to fit. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. This laser is pretty fantastic and I can't wait to get it fully set up. So stay tuned for the next video and uh, hopefully we'll get this thing up and running. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Workshop, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.